In 2020, the Georgia State Legislature passed House Bill 987. That strengthened the requirements around senior care facilities. But as News 12's Nick Hill found out, concerns are being raised over a potential change to those guidelines. My father and my uh, father-in-law both passed away with Alzheimer's and dementia. And it makes it very personal for us in, in our ho household. For Blake Watson and many others, taking care of a loved one with Alzheimer's can be difficult. However, he along with the Georgia chapter of the Alzheimer's Association say they are very concerned about a Georgia Department of Community Health proposal to lower the requirements of staff present inside of a memory care unit, which specializes in treating dementia and Alzheimer's. That's a big problem. If we reduce the number, then that's going to create issues of safety. The proposed change from DCH deals with a redefinition. Right now, per on-site unit like a memory care unit, there is a requirement for every 12 patients a staff member be present during the day and one staff member for every 15 patients at night per unit of that facility. Additionally, current guidelines say there must be two staff members present at all times. In the DCH's proposal, they are planning to redefine the term on-site to mean an entire facility and not just a singular unit of that facility. The Alzheimer's Association says this would effectively mean memory care units would no longer have the requirement of having two staff present at all times. You're dealing with patients who don't understand or realize what's going on around them. So you can't just directly talk to them about uh, here's what I need you to do. They're not going to do it that way. They don't understand. It's, it's very challenging for workers. So if you have more than just a handful of people that you're working with, then, then you're overwhelmed very quickly. DCH is taking public comments on this proposal through December 13th. In North Georgia, Nick Hill, News 12.